Welcome everyone, my name is Nick. I'm going to take you on a galactic adventure for 3D Starfighter on the ZX Spectrum 48K, published by good old Codemasters in 1988, and not to be confused with a similar sounding game, 3D Star Strike by Real Time Games in 1984. No, I didn't catch a word of that, it sounded like he was speaking through a hanky, but uh, good to see the attempt of speech on the Spectrum any day of the week. This is an arcade shoot em up where the idea is you're on a mission in a spaceship going through space to destroy the enemy battle star for some reason and your onboard computer Blinky will guide you through this quest letting you know what to do and giving you some tips. So here's our battle chart we must pick a planet uh, we'll, go, we'll probably go bell marks you're supposed to do them in order and at some stage after reaching light speed you're supposed to dock with a mothership yeah, well, we'll see if that happens or not. This game also came out on the Amstrad CPC. Uh, I don't think it came out on the 60, Commodore 64 for some reason, so let me know. By hitting spacebar, you can put a shield up. You see uh, the red bar on the bottom left is the shield. On the right is the status, which is basically my energy left. So kill everything on the screen, basically. You see these energy bars going up hor well vertically. By shooting repeatedly, the strength is less, and if you wait till it's up to power, it's a more destructive blow. And that's essentially it, really. So we'll see how the um, the gameplay d differs as we go along. Nice star field approaching us, give us the impression of moving forward. Yes, here we go. I think I prefer 3D Star Strike, but let's give this a fair crack of the whip. Let's blow up everything! Now I don't know why these aliens um, we're attacking the Battlestar. It's probably because they're going nearer and nearer Earth and want to wipe us out. Because aliens generally are quite malevolent, want to kill us, enslave us or rip our brains out. And the only good alien really is E.T. and maybe a couple of other ones that I can't remember. Right, we're in space everyone. I hope you're my co-pilot because I need you to do the rear gunning. Gunning? There's no rear gunning in this. I like that graphic in the bottom middle spinning around. Reminds you a little bit of that effect in Superman 2. Game came out in 1988. About the same time I think Empire Strikes Back was being released or Return of the Jedi or one of those. Yeah. If you know of any games similar to this, then uh, let me know, put that below. Uh, one of the ones I haven't reviewed yet on the Spectrum, which is known as a classic, is Elite. So maybe we'll have to come to that at some stage. Right, how are we doing? We're destroying these things. Energy bars taking a bit of a hit. We're down to T in the status there. You've got limited shields, but they do regenerate. Space bar to do those. So if you think something's going to collide into you, hit that straight away. Oh, well, nice shot, Nick. That was quite good going. Yeah. So no real music to uh, to speak of on this version, at least. Where's the enemy battle star? Well, that blew up by itself. That's good. Hopefully we'll get to light speed soon, to the next bit. I have got a poke for this game, which I haven't put in yet. So if I don't get very far, I'll put that in for infinite hits or infinite energy. So at least show you two missions to see if the gameplay differs or whether it's exactly the same. Sounds okay. The animation of the explosion is pretty good. It's well coded. It's a little bit dull though, isn't it? Um, maybe something else will happen. Right, Accelerating 2, Light Speed. A lot of these games as you play as a kid, um, you generated a backstory in your own brain without realising it, so you know all about the aliens, all about everything. Uh, as an adult, that, that uh, creative backstory generating uh, differs <laughs> slightly or less than slightly, so you just view it for what it is. Um, it's okay, but it, you know, it's not gripping me unless there's any land-based missions coming up where the gameplay suddenly is different. It's just aim and fire, isn't it, really? Aim and fire and blast in this shoot 'em up 3D extravaganza. Right, I think those bright things are of things being fired at me. If they get too close, I'll hit the space bar to do the shield. Did you have this game on the ZX Spectrum or indeed the Amstrad CPC? Let me know if you completed it, because I doubt I will be completing it, because I'm guessing the amount of missions you need to do is going to take absolute hours. Oh, my energy is almost down to nothing. Look at that red sliver on the bottom left. Points just above it. 
It's quite easy to get into this game. You don't have to um, remember any strict rules or anything, but I'm guessing there's something I'm not doing because I'm certainly not docking with any space station or anything. Ah, uh, yes. There's a pink thing. Looks like a jelly mold. There's there's no jelly molds in space that I'm aware of, but um, I'm waiting for confirmation. And it's game over. A little bit of colour bleed with the crosshairs on the game over bit. But, you know. Kaboom. Right. Really? Okay, I'll take your word for that, whatever you whatever you said. So I didn't get onto the high score table there. This game's by the Oliver Twins. They wrote it, so um, they've got an impressive back catalogue, them, the Oliver Twins. You can pretty much trust them for a solid game. We welcome safe pilots. Have a nice day. Right, I've got the cheat in here. We're going to go to, I guess, Nexus next. Let's go to Nexus. You're supposed to do these in order, but for the sake of the review, I'll uh, jump with that order just to see if the gameplay is different depending on what mission you do. I'm guessing it's not, but we might be pleasantly surprised. What do you think? Right, there's Blinky there. Destination Nexus. Here we go. It looks quite similar so far. Yeah, it's the same. It's exactly the same. The enemies are the same, the colours are the same. Oh look, damage detected in hull. Well, um, that's the town in England, so we're not near Hull. We're in deep space. Excellent. How are we doing points-wise? Zero. Uh, yeah. The gyroscope balance, that's good. I don't know what that is, because as far as I'm aware, I don't think you can flip the um, the craft upside down like you can Starfighter or go different directions. It's just straight the whole time. Yeah. It, all you're doing, really, is controlling the crosshairs. The ship is flying itself. So I don't know who's flying that, some alien person, but I'm just I'm just shooting really. And uh, yeah, the gameplay, although the game is very, very pretty, it's quite limiting. And I think it's a little bit too long really. The stages are too long. We need to split it up a little bit. Maybe have a bit more music. I believe there's a 128k version, so perhaps I add a bit more music. Let me know. It's a quest through space. Do check out my review of 3D Star Strike, so you can compare the two together and let me know which is your favourite one. Star Strike came out four years earlier, and in my opinion, that is superior to this in terms of gameplay. 1988. Right, I think um, we need to put shields up every time those flashing things come near us, but you'll notice my status energy bar is not going down at all. Uh, the vertical red energy bars uh, dictate how much strength you've got in your shots. If you hold fire, charge it up, you can uh, take out more things. I'm starting to get a little bit bored now. Yeah. Graphics are a little bit flickery, but I'll let that go for the time. That's quite alright. That's acceptable. No sign of the enemy battle stars of yet. Maybe that turns up when you've done all of your missions. But I think it's going to take well over an hour to do this, and I, I haven't got the patience to sit with this game for a whole hour. It's good for a few minutes, but I'm in a bit of a state of ungripperedness. But a lot of kids would have wasted, well not wasted, no no retro gaming is wasting. A lot of, a lot of kids would have spent a lot of time uh, do, uh, playing this to see what happens at the end. And I bet you, I bet you it just said, well done, you've destroyed the enemy battle star, or something like that. Or went back to the beginning again. Spectrum Games did that a lot. If you know what happens at the end, then let me know. I'm always interested. But without a cheat on, I don't think I'd get anywhere at all. These ships look a bit like Mickey Mouse. Or maybe they're wearing a Mickey Mouse hat. Don't think Disney's involved in this one, I don't think. Launch torpedo. We haven't got a torpedo. Oh. Right, is that... No. Surely we must destroy them by now. There's just one magenta one left. No. Get into my crosshairs. Good. Kaboom. Right. Accelerating to light speed. Special effect. Yes. Travelling at light speed. In case you didn't know. It just likes to keep you updated. The computer's called Blinky. Not to get confused with that ghost from Pac-Man. Called Binky, I think. Now, is this the... Sp Do I need to dock with this? I do need to shoot it. I, I don't know if that's an enemy or... or I don't know. Do I have to dock with that red thing? Or blow it up? I think I have to dock with it. Oh, let's blow it up anyway. It's staying roughly in the middle, isn't it? 
Let's just get there. We can get there if we can. Stay still. It's not getting any closer. What is that red dot? It must be the mothership. I'm going to blow it up in error in a minute. Get closer. There's a lot of stuff lying around here. Is that it? It must be. Well, we've got. No, I think it's an enemy. Not a seeing enemy. It's getting further away. No, that's nothing. Let's just shoot everything. I'm not going to get confused by that sort of thing. If only Binky could let us know. Or Blinky, or whatever he's calling himself nowadays. He could be a bit more like that computer in the Knight Rider car called Kit. That would be good. Did, 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 did. Ah, uh, yeah. Whoops, that's kaboomed. More jelly molds, more spaceships. So there's cyan, blue. Hold tight. What's happening? I am holding tight. Is this the bit? Um, hold tight onto what? This ship's computer is sillier than Holly from Red Dwarf. Give me more information, Hull. All right, Dave. Uh, now that didn't make any sense if you don't know about Red Dwarf. Check out Red Dwarf if you haven't already. Right, it's a double blast. Uh, you've destroyed Nexus. Is that good? I think that is good, isn't it? We've destroyed Nexus, now what? Now we need to go somewhere else or dock or somewhere. Um, sorry Nexus, we seem to have blown up your whole planet. Um, I didn't mean to. Maybe I need a good lawyer now, do I? Perhaps that's the second bit of the game. Get a good lawyer. Everyone's dead. Surely that's the end. This game's going on forever. And ever. And ever. I'm going to have to edit this down. How long have I been playing this? Years. Light years. Right, I'm going to have to do a sometime later at some stage in this. Uh, you've nowhere to go now. <laughs> You know, I think I've killed all the enemy, and I think I've killed all my people as well. Oh dear. Oh dearie, dearie, dear. Oh dear, and more oh dears. You've nowhere to go now. I've blown up everything in the whole universe. Well done, Nick. Well, you know, um, what can I, what can I say about that? Ah, uh, is there any, is there any way out of this? Maybe some aliens will take pity on me that I haven't been involved in this thing. I think we'll call that a day there. You've seen enough. Hope you liked having a look at that game. That was 3D Starfighter on the ZX Spectrum 48K. Published by Codemasters in 1988. Thanks for watching that one as always. And until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.